Anne from Blessed Forward Ministries here. I hope you are all well. I thought I would just enjoy creating a little video to share how I actually like to use um, wrapping paper, um, or you might call it gift paper, um, to enjoy adding some creative designs into my Bible for my Bible journaling entries. Um, I was shopping this morning and I saw some gorgeous wrapping paper in a um, card shop. I was actually looking for a gift for a friend and um, I spotted the, some wrapping paper instead and I was like, oh I've got to buy that to use in my um, journaling entry I had a verse pop to me um, as I was looking at it and I thought oh yes I'm gonna take buy that and uh, go home and get creative with the verse God popped into my mind um, so um, you can see I made a start here because I didn't have the um, thought to um, create a video to share until I was like halfway through I just felt like God says why don't you just um, share this little um, tip that you do um, and hopefully others will be encouraged and inspired by it and maybe go off and enjoy using wrapping paper to um, enjoy getting creative with as well um, so what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to move my bible out of the way minute so bear with me thank you everybody and um so i as i was whoop, just dropped it saying um i don't know about you but when you go shopping um a bit like napkins really there are lots of lovely um wrapping paper designs um you may spot and see and you know and wrapping paper is actually really really good to um yeah cut up and stick down and use in your journaling so I, I i quite like buying it and it's also cheap um so this is the one i spotted this morning and i also spotted this lovely um spotty dotty one um so i bought that um and i will use that in another entry so i mean and this cost me 35p a sheet and obviously it's a massive sheet i've obviously cut it in half um for working, working on um so you know it's great value for money um so you know when you're out and about um maybe you know just enjoy you know if you spot something um you think you might be able to use it in your journaling it might even you might be looking at it and a verse might pop into your head when you look at it like i did with this um and um so i mean you could even have lots of sheets of wrapping paper i don't know about you i've got loads stored upstairs from when i buy it for my kids birthdays for my mum's birthday presents and things like that i've got loads upstairs and i use that from time to time i just you know enjoy cutting a section off and cutting it up and sticking it into my bibles for my entry entries um so yeah um so obviously it's not rocket science how to do it it's very easily it is simply just a case of obviously getting the pretty wrapping paper you um like and cutting it up and um sticking it into your bibles i mean what i'm just going to do is i'm just going to go ahead and create finish creating the entry i've started just so you can see how i um, i'm taking this sheet and i'm creating something um, for my journaling to give you an idea of how i would personally um do it um and i will try and obviously chat as i go along um but sometimes i concentrate and i forget to talk and um, so please i say you know you know just follow along as best you can um so let me move this and fold it in the white way so it's how I need it um, so I am going to do I'm well I'm in the middle of doing an entry for Psalm 23 verse 3 um, let me just read it it says um, he refreshes my soul he guides me along the right paths for his name's sake um, so and I am just going to create a flower wreath um, using the wrapping paper I have bought um, to Add in for my entry so what I have still just got a couple of flowers I need to cut out and um, so I thought um, I would just show you how I cut um, my wrapping paper um, you can use a pair of scissors um, but I prefer to use my craft knife I just find it I just find it easier and I will be honest as well I find it slows me down um, so and um, slowing down you know when I say it slows me down it means 
you know, as I'm enjoying cutting the flowers out, I've got more time to soak with God, soak in my worship music, soak in the word um, I'm, you know, creating for. So I find it slows me down and makes me spend a bit more time in the creative process um, and while I'm soaking with God. So just while I um, cut the last few flowers out, I'm just going to stick a bit of worship music on in the background just so you've, you don't get bored. <laughs> um, so I'm putting on It Is Well With My Soul, um, just because I found that song just really, you know, was speaking to me as I was thinking about this Bible verse. So, yes, I'm just going to get on. So bear with me a few minutes and then I will turn the music down and carry on with the entry. And just making sure you can see in my screen because as I always say I'm aware I'm on my iPhone and it's not a very big screen So that is all the um, flowers that I need for um, the design I'm going to create. But what I'm going to also do is, it's got some lovely little tiny hearts and some little tiny gold circles on. And I'm just going to cut a few of them off to enjoy using as well.
Right, so I'm just going to leave it there. So let's turn the music down. And let's get back to the Bible. So, and as you can see, what I am going to do is, um, for using my um, flowers that I've cut out from my wrapping paper, I'm going to make them into a little, like half a reef shape. So I started placing them on and like so. And that one, I'm just having a little play. I might not need that one. Um, so I thought that could kind of doing a mirror image type thing. I would place them, place them on roughly. And that will be my reef. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stick them down. Um, and to stick them down, I like to use a um, glue pen. Um, you can use a normal um, glue print stick. Um, so, you know, you might have something else you might like to use, but I like to use a glue pen. So what I'm going to do is whoop, I'm going to um, start sticking these down. So let me move my Bible so hopefully you can all get a good view. So I'm going to start at the top and just dub some um, glue on that one. And now this Bible um, I am adding an entry into is um, my Bible I don't mind covering um, the words in, just in case you're wondering. I have several different Bibles and I know not covering the words is everyone's cup of tea. Um, so, but I cover up the words in this Bible because I know I have lots of other Bibles um, I can go to that I don't cover the words up in and um, they are my go-to Bibles which I will study the word in and look up all the words in. This one is just one I add like entries in for when I do feel like covering up the words. So I'm just going to add in a little sticky out bit there. So I'm trying to make this video as quick as I can. So I'm just roughly sticking them on where I think I might like them. And what I might do is I might just, sorry if you keep getting a view of my hand, but you'll see what I'm doing in a minute is just might swap that around like that. And so hopefully you can see, um, just to show you, obviously because I'm doing the gluing just um, out of the screen, um, with a glue pen you just dot on the glue like so and it goes on. And I'll keep positioning them until they go round. I'll try and do it in the screen again just so you can see. That one can go there. I'll, keep, I'll do it in the screen. It's because obviously I don't get much room in my um, iPhone screen so I don't always have enough room to in so that has created really easily a very nice flower reef for my bible journaling entry so you know if you're not too confident with your drawing skills or things like that and you have some pretty um flowered wrapping paper um lying around at home um you know, you could use it to enjoy creating a very easy and very quickly creating a very simple um, flower reef entry. Oh, I'm trying to think where I want to stick this one. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to stick it there like that actually. Couldn't decide where to put that last one. So there we go. So that is the flower reef added in. Um, 
So then what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to take the words I want to add in and I'm going to add them into my Bible there. Now I've not prepped my page or anything with gesso because I'm not using any um, like fine liners or felt tip pens on it. Um, so I've not prepped my page because I'm just going to use some um, watercolored pencils um, to add in my words. And um, But obviously if you're going to use some um, like felt tip pens or something like that, you might want to think about prepping your pages. Um, so all I'm going to do is, um, most of you will know, um, I'm not the best um, drawer, writer, um, but I can design on a computer fine. So I've just um, got my words I've got off the computer and I'm going to place it underneath and trace it because there is absolutely nothing wrong with tracing. Um, so, whoop. can you all see? I'm hoping you can all see. Yep. Yeah. And while I'm doing that, I've got this lovely worship song in the background and I want you to hear it because, oh, how does God love us? And oh. Um, so right, I've added in the words I want to add in for um, the verse I've been thinking about. Um, so, you know, um, while I was thinking about this um, verse, you know, it's just, you know, I was just thinking about how, you know, God knows the green pastures, you know, and the quiet waters um, where we need to be um, when we're going through certain situations in life and you know and we must you know we really need to try and remember as we're going through um the moments where we're struggling and finding things hard is you know we need to remember to turn to him and uh he will you know provide us with the you know the quiet waters and the green pastures where we can lie down and find contentment and our soul will just be restored in him and we will be able to face the situations that we're facing in his strength so I just thought I'd share my little thoughts that I got from that so 
Um, yeah, so all I did there was just got a little tiny bit of water on my brush and just um, made the restore look a bit smoother. I don't know if you can tell really on the screen. Um, so um, what I'm going to do there is I'm going to finish this um, video there. Um, but first, actually, let me just colour in the bit it's for just there. Um, because I don't want it to um, go on too much longer for you <laughs> lovely people um, but hopefully this has just inspired you and encouraged you as always um, to find a you know nice easy way to enjoy adding some creativeness into your Bibles for your Bible journaling entries um, so as always um, I will add all the links to where you can find us on Facebook um, in our Bible journaling community where you can come and join us and enjoy um, sharing um, your love for Bible journaling or being encouraged um, through some of the things we share together in our community um, so yeah come and find us if you wish um, so yes I will say God bless see you all later and um, yeah <laughs> bye